Good evening, fellow collectors. June 19th, 2009. Let's do another video tonight. We're going to look at some more eBay sellers. We're going to look at one item from Coach's Corner. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is look at this lot number 241 on the Coach's Corner auction site. This is a forged Barack Obama autograph on a baseball. That is not Barack Obama's autograph. And I want to tell you this. If you want to look for a real Barack Obama autograph, do your research. Go to eBay. Look up some PSA or JSA items. Or maybe he, uh, he also signed some stuff for Tops. Look at that stuff. He's got a distinctive left-handed signature. And I can tell you with full confidence that the majority of Barack Obama autographs on the Coach's Corner auction site, if you look at them, they are forgeries. They are sloppy forgeries, most of them, which I believe have already been rejected by eBay and removed. So they move it over to Coach's Corner. But the majority of them are forgeries. If you want a real Barack Obama autograph, do your research. Check on stuff. Look on the flow of the autograph. You know, left-handers have a tendency to sign a certain way. Do your research. Look at stuff. Compare stuff. Do your homework. The majority of people who own Barack Obama autographs own forgeries. And that's a 2,000% fact. Now, let's look at some uh, eBay stuff. How about this Derek Jeter autograph bat? Uh, this one's really, really bad. It's item number 250-447-491-932. The seller's name is Big E41677. Big E41677. Now go through eBay and look for a Steiner Sports autograph bat. There is a distinct difference between this and a Steiner Sports or an Upper Deck autographed baseball bat. Do your homework and research. This is an obvious forgery. All it is is a bunch of circles. And the guy who's selling this, he claims he got it in person, uh, but of course he's not telling the truth. As a matter of fact, he's got another item up, which is a Ken Griffey Jr. autographed bat. This is item number 250-447-492-044. Now look at Ken Griffey's autograph on a baseball bat from Upper Deck, UDA. It's not even close to this. Ken Griffey has a very distinctive way of signing, which really, unlike Jeter, has not changed much over the years. Very, very slightly. It has not changed. Derek's... Autograph from 1992 until now has changed probably four or five times, and you got to follow that stuff. And that's how you can prevent yourself from buying a forgery. Just don't believe everything you read in an item description. Look at photographs. If a guy is selling something and, he, and the photograph is not clear or close enough, don't even buy it. A lot of autographs are intentionally forged on dark cards with backgrounds that are really really dark because it kind of hides the autograph and people buy that crap anyway but this Ken Griffey and Derek Jeter Beth that I just showed you previously they're done by one person and the seller is Big E 41677 and both of these are forgeries now if you remember last night there was a seller that I exposed who's uh, from last night's video uh, the name was Auto hyphen Pros Inc. His stuff got removed and he comes back under a new name. The new name is Indie Hyphen Sports. The item number is 250-447-922-959. He tried to sell us last night. He was Auto Hyphen Pros Inc. and now he comes back as Indie Hyphen Sports. Same seller, same forgery. These people are incredible and this is an obvious forgery. Like I say, please do your research people. Um, whether you sign your uh, signature deliberately or quickly, it's going to have the same flow. There won't be any slowing up and then, you know, the autograph taken off. It's going to be one continuous flow. Look for that. Look for rough edges. Look for slow spots. Things like that. Uh, here's a really, really bad Albert Pujols autograph on a baseball. Here it is, right? You'll see it better, of course, on the auction site, but the item number is 280-357-044-287 from uh, 
eBay seller Lucky Town Hyphen Auctions. Now that's a really, really bad forgery, but like Albert Pujols and Derek Jeter before him, his autograph has also changed since 2001. Very distinctively. And that's the stuff you gotta follow. That's what I mean by doing your homework and doing research. This one here is just an obvious forgery. A lot of rough spots, a lot of stoppages, things like that. But that's a that's a 100% forgery. Okay? Um, another Albert Pujols forgery. This is a Abel Pujo Scott Rowland autographed helmet. And it's look at it on the auction site, it's really, really ugly. It's not even close to any of Abel Pujols' different autographs throughout the years. This is from seller the Bronx underscore nine two five zero. The item number is one five zero three five two nine three eight three two nine. The Scott Rowland is even horrible. But the Abel Pujols is even worse. A lot worse. Much worse. Two ugly autographs there by seller the Bronx underscore ninety two fifty. Uh, here's another obvious Alba Pujols autograph of a for I mean a really really bad forgery. And if you look at it real close on the eBay auction site, you will see how in the middle in some spots of this autograph there are stoppages and then a continuation and his rough edges. This is a really, really bad forgery. I mean, uh, why people buy this stuff, I don't know. It's from seller R-A-N-I-O-U-812. Why do people buy this stuff without comparing it to originals from, you know, like UDA and, and, and Tops? The item number is 110-404-164766. That's a really bad Albert Pujols forgery. And if you look at this and compare it to any of his autographs between 2001 and 2009 it doesn't come close it's a really bad forgery um, here's another really really bad Albert Pujols forgery real quick I mean this is just on a signed card the item number is 2204357922202 from seller AL6523 you'll see it much better on the eBay auction site but once again it's a bad, bad autograph. And the COA, Signature Dreams. Signature Dreams. I have yet to see anything from Signature Dreams that is authentic. And he gets a lot of his stuff authenticated by guess who? Chris Morales. Signature Dreams. Stuff is horrible, and he has not been allowed to sell on eBay. Actually, Signature Dreams was a seller on eBay. He is not allowed to sell on eBay. He sold a ton of forgeries on eBay. Now, this is what I want to talk about also. Seller Cards Fan 0730, a really, really bad fake Albert Pujols forgery on the sweet spot of a baseball. Item number 320-3859-50678. Now look at that eBay ID, Cards Fan. Yet he's selling a forgery of the most popular cardinal. Albert Pujols, but he's a Cards fan. And that's what sometimes sways buyers. This can sway a buyer to buy this thing. Because people really think it's a Cards fan, and yet he's selling a forgery. This is a kind of little, these little things that actually influence buyers to buy crap like this. Cards fan, 0730. A fake Albert Pujols autograph baseball. And from that same seller, and here's a really, really good example of an autograph that is just rough all over from somebody who does forgeries really, really bad. From that same seller, Cards Fan 0730, this fake Don Mattingly. Now, I know Mattingly pretty good, but that's not even close. Item number 320-3697-20851. And what puzzles me about this... A buyer bought this with a buy it now of $95. For about $95, that buyer could have purchased a Steiner Sports autograph of Don Mattingly. Think about that. For the same price, that person could have bought a Steiner Sports Don Mattingly autograph baseball on the sweet spot. Instead, they get this crappy looking Don Mattingly. That's terrible. And some moron did buy this. And I hope he somehow gets it to PSA or JSA and gets it rejected because then he'll find out 
that he would have. As a matter of fact, if he watches this, 